on the dock. from for those that want to know i'm originally from atlanta georgia about how old were you when you moved to panama city uh 10 10 yeah I was 10 years old how old were you when you first started skimboarding i was 14 almost about turned 15 and how old are you now doing i'm 17 17 yes sir wow and I, he I hear you're sponsored in skimboarding is that correct that's right who are you sponsored by? You have a couple sponsors? One sponsor, two sponsors? Yeah, I got Waves on Skimboards and Hammer Traction Pads. Okay. Um, I also got Vivation Apparel. And uh, I have a new company that's coming up in the works right now called the Sand Society. Okay, okay. Sweet. Now let me ask you this, Dylan. Do you regret or do you really think it was a good choice becoming uh, sponsored? I think it was a good choice. Okay. I like now, my sponsors. What is, what is something like uh, Wave Zone and Hammer Traction Pads? What are some of the stuff that that company's doing for, for you? There's uh, multiple you know differences between the sponsors of what you get. Uh, but with Wave Zone, they're helping me grow. They're giving me the product I need. Their product's really good. Their boards are really good. Uh, hammer Traction Pads, they're the best traction pad I've ever had in my life. So. What makes Hammer Traction Pad different than any other traction pad? You know, I've been getting a lot of questions like that. And one thing I really like about the Hammer Traction Pads is the texture of the pads. Yeah. And I also like on how easy they are to put on and how hard they are like, to fall off. You know. Okay. Think? So pretty much, um, would you say, how long have you had your waves on board? Uh, I've had it for probably around like seven months. Seven months. Mm -hmm. And that Hammer Traction is doing just fine for oh, you? Yeah. Sweet. If you have any recent competition results, what were they and when was the competition? You're maybe past two or three competitions. I know there hasn't been much this year, but uh, just tell me what you've got. The most recent ones um, would have been <clears throat> the Indian Rocks Beach competition. 2019, uh, right? Yes. Okay. It was in 2019. Um, didn't place in that one. But in the PCB one here at the Shore Pound, they're a little uh, uh, throw down at the pier. Yeah. Um, place second. Awesome. Yeah. Now, when are you? when is your next competition going to be, do you think, Dylan? Uh, this Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah. Where at? Madera Beach. Madera Beach. Okay. So, uh, I was actually looking into it, and Madeira Beach, they're actually judging the heats on, it's not age, you know, you know how most skimboarding, they go semi-pro, pro, and then age amateur, right? So this one, they're going by three different divisions, which is beginner, intermediate, and advanced. What do you think about that? I like it just like that. I feel like there's more competition, more fun, because... I could be good, and a 13-year-old can be way better than me, and I think it would be fun going against that 13-year-old. You know because he grinded, yeah, exactly. right? Or just same thing, vice versa, yeah. you going against a 25-year-old, you know? Exactly. You just see, you think it's you think it's fair that way? Yeah. Now, uh, when you were down in Indian Rocks Beach, was it was it uh, you picked your division, or was it age? It was and, age. And w which division do you plan on uh, entering? I haven't decided yet. I want to go advanced, but I think I'm going to do the middle one uh -huh. and do intermediate. Just see how it's been since yeah. it's the first one this year, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sweet, man. What would you say um, gives you that drive to keep going and keep skimming, even on the days when they are flat, maybe cold? What, here in Panama City, Florida, what drives you to keep skimming all year round and keep posting on Instagram, YouTube, and social media? What, 
drives you to keep wanting to do that? Just knowing that I have room for improvement and every single time I go out there I try a new trick. What would you say your best trick is that you've ever landed? Um, either, hmm, either a bigger spin or a 720 show. 720 show? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Those are very hard to, to land. How many times have you landed a 720 show? I've landed it about a couple times, like a handful of times, probably like four. Uh, but I've stuck them so many times. Awesome. How did, how, did, how, did that, how did that feel? How did that feel your first time landing a 720 show? It was different. It made me feel like open with skimboarding, making me feel that I can do more with skimboarding. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Sweet. Other than skimboarding, when you're not skimboarding and you are away from that beach and it's nighttime, you know, you, you come home, you come home from school or you come home from the beach. What, 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 what are you doing at home when you come home? What's the type of stuff you like to do? Okay. Um, so most of the time, I usually uh, I get home, take a shower, uh, usually figure out what's going on around the house. I got some buddies I live with. And then um, I go to my room, get on my computer, figure out what's going on for the day. I look at Facebook, look at Instagram, look at Twitter. And then after that, I watch some skateboarding videos or I'm editing a skateboarding video or I'm just playing video games. Within the next five years, man, whether it's skateboarding, you know, whether it's working a job, nine to five, going to college, what do you want to be doing in, in you know, yeah. the next five years, man? What do you want to be setting your life up for? Um, so obviously, I want to go pro in skimboarding and I want to take content creation to the next level as well. I want to show people that they can be who they are and not be assigned to the highway of what everybody else is doing. Um, but my main goal is to be able to support my family and help out my family and uh, and do that while I'm having fun, you know? Spreading positive vibes, God always do that, always. Got you. Would you say it's one of your main goals in life to work for yourself one day? As yeah. in like how you're creating oh, the yeah. content? Yeah, definitely. Would you like to see revenue off of that one day? Of course, of course. It's always a dream. Heck yeah. Uh, one more question today, Dylan. And uh, last but not least, I won't really ask you necessarily a question. What would you like to say to uh, your family, friends, and uh, followers and subscribers out there? I love them all. And I want them to all chase their dreams and do what they love. Don't do what everybody else tells them to do. And, uh, you know, just don't put yourself down. Always think of the positive vibes. Always think of... In any situation, always think about the positive outcome of it and uh, just follow your dreams. Awesome, man. What's your uh, Instagram and YouTube for everybody out there that's um, watching on my YouTube? Yeah, my Instagram and my YouTube is both Skim Dylan, D Y L A N. Sweet. Skim Dylan. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to be looking out for you this weekend at Madeira, okay? Of course. Man, that was a good hot tub session. Uh,. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if, if y'all want to see more content like this. Would y'all want to see more interviews? Go down in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more interviews. Thank you so much, guys. And we will see you this weekend.